Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about creating a simple calendar control. Uh, calendar as a control, it's a bit uh, tricky to develop. Uh, I'm not sure why Apple hasn't provided us a drag and drop control or something like that. Uh, before collection views, it was a pain to create a calendar. Uh, but thanks to collection view, uh, we got lots of possibilities to create calendar. And you have got lots of cool libraries out there in this tutorial i'm not going to create a calendar control from scratch but i'm going to create it using a third party library called jt apple calendar i'm not going to reinvent the wheel but i it it's i just felt this library is pretty cool it has been out there for quite a long time but i got my hands on it uh, like a couple of weeks back and i felt it really good so i'm just going to show you uh, how to create a simple calendar and configure it how to apply some properties provided by the JT app calendar so uh, you can see that this is how my calendar looks like so I will walk you through the code how it should be done yeah let's dive into the code first you need to install the library uh, which is JT Apple calendar I used cocoa ports to install so this is the version out here after installing uh, let's uh, go to the storyboards and uh, see how it's going to be done let's go to the storyboard uh, step one is you need to add a collection view and configure the collection view as JT Apple uh, calendar view in the calendar uh, in the collection view you are going to uh, create a new collection view uh, cell doesn't matter the size I mean you can configure a proper size and here I have added a selected uh, just this is a UI view just to show uh, the selected uh, state and a date label uh, this background view is just optional I'm not using it right now uh, uh, so this date label and the selected view are the core guys here so in this selected view uh, I have given a corner radius just to have it as a circle when you select it and the date label uh, has is used to show the uh, date and on top of that I you see this uh, to indicate the days so I have this uh, stack view with uh, Sunday Monday Tuesday I mean uh, those dates have been configured over here and uh, once we have the calendar cell <coughs> uh, we need to create a custom uh, JT Apple cell and I have configured a date label selected view and background view and back in the calendar cell so I have associated the class and the labels are also associated here the background date label and selected view In the calendar cell uh, we are going to uh, set the reuse identifier as uh, calendar cell I mean that's pretty important uh, and in the uh, calendar view which is the collection view uh, you need to associate the uh, data source and delegates so which is like uh, L I B calendar data source and delegate once you have these connections ready and the stack view the collection view and the custom cell is ready then we need to go back to the uh, view controllers to write some code let's go to the view controller so i have created an outlet for the calendar view which is the jt apple calendar view so that i get a reference to it so first method would be like to configure the calendar view so I, I just apply the basic properties of uh, collection view to set the interim line spacing and uh, item spacing then I'm uh, I will come to this header section like uh, here we have a header view which uh, indicates the uh, month for that I'm using a separate uh, view which is JT Apple collection reusable view uh, it has a title 
I just configure that in the view controller so first we'll we will register the uh, header view for uh, <coughs> section header then the next one is scroll to date so uh, we we don't want the users to start from the beginning of any year or something so we will just scroll to the current date and we will make the current date as the selected date then uh, this is the method which configures the cell the jt apple cell so once you get the uh, cell the cell state this all comes from the library you don't need to do anything the cell state text will contain the date uh, then you can uh, then I have another two convenience method which is to set the color uh, for the text so here we will check whether the cell is available and if the cell is selected that means the state of the cell is currently selected and we will apply the text color I mean this are uh, these all things are configurable so here my background uh, is totally black and uh, the unselected state the text color should be white and the selected state you're going to have a uh, yellow round background and the uh, uh, selected text color as black so that is what is happening here so you have the if the cell state is selected you are setting the text color as black and the next uh, case is like we need to check if the uh, current date is belonging to this month then uh, you should set the color as white else uh, it should be like a disabled state uh, you're going to set it as gray so and I have done another uh, one more check here like for example like if your current date is like uh, let's let's go and see it so my current date is 16th so I don't want the previous dates to be again enabled so I just I can do this by doing this comparison like if the cell date is greater than the uh, current date uh, then only you give the white else uh, put the gray so that way I could I could achieve this this effect like you can see the previous dates are also like grayed out next one is configuring the selected state it's it's actually for the background so uh, here like if the cell is selected I am just uh, hiding and uh, enabling the selected view so which is our uh, yellow uh, color this this color so once you select it goes to uh, it sets the background view to be enabled I'm sorry uh, the selected state to be enabled so that's all with the uh, configurations uh, you can it's, it's all configurable you can change the colors you can uh, change the shapes so many many stuff you can do with this now come to the main stuff here you have few delegates and data source which needs to be implemented uh, the first one like uh, will display cell so here uh, we are just getting the DQ I mean the cell from the calendar and then configuring it so which is again it will call our configure cell method to set the dates and configure the colors <coughs> then the other other one this is the initial setup of your JT Apple calendar this is really important so here you will be selecting the date format uh, time zone the locale and this is the scrolling mode like you can tell whether the uh, table can scroll fast or stop at uh, each section uh, like that you you have few options out here so if you go and see it stop at each calendar frame each section non-stop non-stop the cell etc so you have few options out here then you have to provide a start date and end date so it's like I'm I'm starting my calendar from 1st January 2018 I, I just put it like uh, 31st December 2020 this means like your calendar will end in 2020 so if you want to have more time frame uh, better you put probably like 
five years or something uh, and in between you can update your app and change it uh, <laughs> then comes the configuration parameters so you will have the start date end date then the number of rows number of rows is like uh, this one like I have provided six like one two three four five six six rows there so it's it's again configurable if you want a uh, like a week view or something you can put uh, one row and uh, change the configuration parameters accordingly then you have the in dates and out dates so in dates are the dates from the previous months and out dates are going to be the uh, next month so that is also configurable and you can uh, so like you can turn it off turn it on like so let's say if i if if i uh, right now the settings is like till the end of the row uh, let me change it to the to end of grid now you can see that you got an additional one more space here because uh, the number of rows here is like one two three four five and since we have the number of rows as six this extra uh, line which is the end of the grid uh, it has also appeared we spoke about that I will show another piece of code these two lines of code uh, let's let's uh, comment this out and see how what it, what happens So you can see that the uh, dates are now continuous like you can see that uh, let's say this one two three four five five these dates doesn't belong to December it's to the January but you can see it's it's being displayed over here so these two lines of code will prevent doing that uh, what it checks is like it will check the cells cell date uh, if it is not belonging to this month hide the cell so you don't want to see those cells which is which is nice okay yeah now we are back to the normal state next thing is like the first day of the week like you can put uh, it's it's again configurable uh, some places the first day of the week uh, in the calendar they prefer to start from monday some places it's it starts from sunday i mean so you can uh, configure that then comes the uh, delegate functions so this is again like uh, self or at index path I mean so it's it's it gets the new cell and configure the cell then did select date like this this is when you choose the uh, date uh, you can get the what was the date selected and uh, you can do any processing on that and did deselect like you have deselected then also apply the same configuration uh, if you want to do anything then <coughs> this is for configuring your header section so you'll, you are getting a uh, the header uh, from the uh, calendar calendar view and then applying the value so this is the date format which I use which is like uh, the month in the full and the year and you are setting it as this title to your uh, section header view and this piece of code is really important for the uh, section header view to work uh, like this this configuration sets the height of the header view so you need to provide that and one more other thing is like for the cell size I have used the IB outlet uh, property in the uh, collection view JT uh, calendar so it's a configurable keypad property which is like cell size so if you, the value which you set here gets precedence uh, so if you have set the uh, auto layout properly inside your cell everything works well uh, uh, try to change some theming uh, let's try to change the uh, change the background color so it's, it's pretty easy you go to the collection view and let's put it like light gray and go to the selected view so selected view we will have it as maybe like green
green and yeah let's let's run it and see how it looks yeah this is how it looks pretty weird let's uh, do some more configuration updates uh, the header view is uh, still in the old thing let's change that Our view you can see it's pretty simple just one view with a label let's change it to okay. see how it works yeah at least it matches this theme so yeah so that's that's all I want to show uh, it like if you if in your projects if you have a, a requirement for uh, calendars please use this particular library it is very nice and there is a good support also uh, if you have if you post any issues I think uh, people are responding to that and uh, pretty configurable you can find samples there yeah thank you that's all